Right, my name's Andrew Lester. I've been a fishmonger now since I was 15, so I know a little bit about what I'm doing. And last year I won the Young Fishmonger of the Year on the BBC. Uh, I work here for my uncle in Warrington Market. Um, we're, today we're going to show you a little bit about the different varieties of fish and how we ourselves can make it a little bit less daunting for you to come and have a look and choose what you want. The most common fish that you everyone gets in the chip shops and that is the cod. Now cod's a, a nice white, flaky, slightly meaty fish. Uh, you can come in cod fillets or sometimes you'll get cod steaks with bone in. Don't be afraid of trying something like this. It's not the strongest of flavours, it's quite a mild, nice fish. So even though it's a, a white to look at, it's actually more of an opaque. Uh, so when it cooks, that colour will change to a brilliant white. So when, when you're cooking your fish, you just cut into it a little bit, and when it's a nice white uh, colour throughout, then you know that it's cooked fully. Another fish on the same sort of thing is haddock. That's also, it's got a slightly bit more flavour than cod, uh, and a slightly different texture, but it's still a nice, mild flavour. So once you've tried your cod and your haddock, and you're comfortable with that, uh, another nice fish is fish like lemon sole. Now this is a flat fish. Um, when choosing your lemon sole, Look to make sure that it's got nice, like the eyes are nice and bright, the gill inside's nice and red. But also, I mean, you can tell a lot by when you look at a fish. If the fish is beginning to dry out or just curl up at the edges, then you know it's by, by far past its best. So look for a nice, slimy, quite shiny uh, surface to it, and you know that you're getting a good quality. Now, these can be both on the bone or filleted. Uh, your fishmonger will do that, no problem for you. And it grills lovely. Just, as it, just the fillets, very simple, just season them, a little bit of butter. Grill that fine, that's nice. There's another nice fish out there called sea bass. You can have them on the bone or filleted. Uh, the fillets come out, they're a white fish. Again, same as your cod and haddock. Not quite as meaty as your lemon sole, but a slightly different flavour, but it's still not a strong flavour. So if you're a bit wary of having a strong fishy fish, then this is a fish that you should try because it's not like that. It's a nice, decent place. Same again, uh, look for a nice bright-eyed one. Make sure the gill inside's nice and red. That's a colour that changes with the age of fish. Uh, you don't want it dried out. You want to make it sit still nice and slimy and wet, and that way you're getting a good, fresh, quality one. You've got your salmon and you've got the trout. Now these, I mean the salmon like that, it's a, it's a big fish, so you'll, you'll probably buy a fillet or a, a small portion, if it's just for yourself. Or if you wanted to do, people love them for parties, for buffets and that, you see cooked salmons there. Now this is a slightly different flavour to your fish, you're getting more potent, fishier flavour there. Uh, but it's nice, it's not a meaty fish, it's quite a, quite a dense texture to it. When you've tried these fish, uh, the, the other sort of fish on the market is your very, very oily fish, your mackerel and your herrings. Now these are slightly more bony, but your fishmonger will take them out for you, no problem. They're a very, very fishy fish. Uh, they're very high in your oils and your omega freeze, and they are some of the fish that are proven to reduce cholesterol. So they are very, very good for you. But they are stronger flavoured, some people like it, some people don't. But give it a try. You've got to look for all the same qualities of the other fish that we've covered. Uh, you want it nice, you want it firm, you want it bright-eyed and red-gilled. You don't want it dry down. And then when cooking it, with the oily fish, they do absolutely superb grilled. Because the oils in them are there, uh, they can sometimes come a bit, little bit too greasy if fried. So grill them and let the oils come out a little bit and then try to get a lovely, fishy, strong flavour out of them. So now we've gone through all the different types of fish, don't forget that out there is a whole range of seafood that you can go at, from mussels to clams, to really nice big crab that you can make some superb dishes out of that. And there literally is hundreds of different types of fish out there of all different textures, flavours and colours. So we really do believe that there is a fish for everyone out there, it's just a matter of finding the one that you like. <laughs>